Pisang goreng or goreng pisang? Find out right after this. <laughs> Hey folks, I'm Aslin Blau from linsfood.com and singaporeanmalaysianrecipes.com. Today's video is all about a favorite childhood snack or tea time treat called pisang goreng or goreng pisang. Now these are fried banana fritters and really they're popular all across Southeast Asia in, and in many other parts of the world as well. Essentially, all you have is bananas, sliced up, halved, whole if they're small, dipped in batter, and then deep fried. That's it, super simple. As a kid growing up in my grandma's kitchen, I used to make this every single day, five days a week for years for the food business that my grandma ran from home. Goreng pisang or pisang goreng. You know I love my languages, right? If you're a follower of my blogs, you'll know that. So in Malay and Indonesian, the, the adjective or the descriptive word comes after the noun. So fried banana in English, but in Malay and Indonesian, it becomes banana fried. So pisang goreng, to be grammatically correct. But for some reason, Singaporeans, like me, call it goreng pisang. I don't know why we do that. And it's a term that's used by every single local, uh, whatever their ethnic and language inclinations. I've got some plantains and I've also got some Saba bananas, but these guys, not quite ripe yet, so I'm going to leave those for a few more days. I'm going to use the plantains. Now, with regards to the best types of bananas to use for this, I'll give, you, I'll give it to you in the description below. Or if you want to read up uh, all about it in detail, head on over to my blog post as usual. So all we're going to do is to peel the bananas, which I'm going to do once I've got the batter ready, because I don't want them going brown and all that. We're going to peel the bananas, we're going to slice them in half, as you'll see in the video. We're going to dip it in batter and fry it in the hot oil. That's it. So you need a wok of some description. Um, or a deep frying pan or skillet, whatever you guys call it in your part of the world. It doesn't really matter. All you want to be able to do is to have about that much depth of oil so that you can fry your bananas easily. If you haven't got either of those, use a saucepan, no big deal. So the wider your pan, the more oil you're going to need. So bear that in mind. But the wider your pan and the more oil you're using, the quicker the whole process will be because you can fry more bananas all at once. So if you're using a tiny saucepan, you're only going to be frying maybe two or three bananas at a time. So, you know, work all that out yourself. Let's get cooking.
I've got goreng pisang here that have been fried in two different batters. You'll find that that's where recipes differ. Some people prefer a batter that's made completely of rice flour. Some people like a combination of the two. Some people like perhaps just all-purpose flour in theirs with or without corn flour with a little bit with or without um, baking powder, sodium bicarbonate, uh, even a little bit of turmeric in there for colour. If you are a better kind of person, you want some all-purpose flour. If you're a, a little bit of better, more banana kind of person, so heavy on the rice flour or all rice flour. So there you have it. Pisang goreng or goreng pisang, as Singaporeans tend to call it. A favourite tea time treat from my childhood. Full written recipe as well as the whole spiel on the recipe itself. Hit that link to go to my Singaporean Malaysian recipes blog. I hope you enjoyed that. I shall see you guys real soon.